Hi, this is Evan from AppFire, and today I'm going to be walking you through some of the great features of Help Desk Plus for Slack. To begin with, I'm starting in the IT Support Slack channel, and I'm going to add a simple question. As soon as I ask this question, how do I get a guest connected to Wi-Fi in the community space, the Help Desk bot immediately responds with the simple steps that I need to follow to get a guest connected. There's also a create request button at the bottom of this response in case I need to submit a request for more support. Similarly, I can ask, how do I reset my password? And again, there's a help desk plus response that tells me exactly how to reset my password. If I say I need a new laptop, again, help desk plus response, but in this case, help desk plus doesn't have an answer to how I get a new laptop. So it tells me to search the knowledge base. So if I just click this search button, Help Desk Plus automatically opens up Confluence and searches for exactly what I was looking for. And we can see that I have a laptop upgrade policy right here. Now, if I go back to Slack, if that did not help me, didn't find the information that I was looking for, I could choose this did not help. And I could click on create a request. And you'll see it gives me the get IT help request type and I can fill out all this information and simply click submit. When I do that and click submit, Help Desk Plus will remove its previous answer and replace it with a thread that includes the ticket that it just created. From here, I can simply respond to this thread and anything that I respond will be added to the ticket. Now let me show you a few other ways that your teams might interact with Help Desk Plus. If I switch to the HR help channel and ask a simple question like, where do I find the 2023 holiday calendar? Help Desk Plus again responds, but in this case, the HR team wants to default people directly to their knowledge base. So once more, if I click search, this automatically opens up a Confluence search and I can see that the first response is the global holiday, holiday calendar. Again, I have the this helped me or the this did not help and I have the ability to create requests. I'm gonna go ahead and, and select this helped me, but I still have this button. So if I wanna create an additional request for anything else, I can do that. And we can see here, this form is a little bit different than the one we saw with IT. and. HR is asking me to fill out the category of this request. So, you know, I can choose benefits and fill out any additional information here. If I do choose to click submit to create a request, Help Desk Plus will again remove that initial response that it gave me and go ahead and create a request and give me a thread where I can respond back and forth. But this thread is in a public channel. So let's say that I needed to post something confidential like my home address. I can simply find this lock button on the original thread and click lock. This is gonna ask me, are you sure you wanna go private? And I simply choose yes. This puts a note that this thread has been switched to private mode. And if I come over here to help desk, I can see it's created a thread for me where I can continue to respond to the ticket, including syncing comments back and forth to JIRA. If I switch to the legal help channel, I can take this lease agreement, simply drag it in and say, could someone review this lease agreement? I need it by next Friday. Now, when I send this message, the legal help team automatically creates tickets with Help Desk Plus. So you can see there's already a ticket emoji. And if I click on the replies, not only do I see information about the ticket itself, I do have the option to search the knowledge base if I would like, but in this case, my attachment was added to the ticket and I can simply add responses here that again will be added as comments to the issues that are created. Now I'd like to show you how easy it is to configure a new channel. In this case, I'm configuring the finance help channel. I'm gonna leave this as public and I'm not gonna invite anyone at this time, but the first thing I'm gonna do is invite the help desk bot. As soon as I invite the bot, it asks me if I'd like this to be a support channel or an alerts channel. Alerts channels are great for your team to be notified when users create new requests. But in this case, I'm gonna click configure next to support channel. And you can see starting from the top, all of the options that I just walked you through for how teams can use the Help Desk Plus bot. In this case, I'm gonna select an issue type. 
I'm going to choose Get uh, Finance Support. And then I have options for automatically creating issues, automatically responding to all messages, or creating custom auto responses. These are some of the things that you saw in the IT support channel. I can even create off hours support rules so that during certain days and times, the bot will respond in a different way or automatically create issues. And there's advanced options that allow me to select permissions, set privacy settings, and much more. In this case, I'm simply going to click Auto Create, select Submit, and it's that easy to begin creating issues in a new support channel. But an issue doesn't necessarily need to be created from Slack for me to interact with it in Slack. So to show you an example, if I move to the IT Help Service Portal here, I've already filled out some simple information, and if I click Send, as soon as this issue is created, I'll receive a DM in Slack from the Help Desk Plus bot. So if I move to the Help Desk Plus bot, I can see simple request. I can click on View Details to see more details about the request. I'll be able to add users or comments here. And I also have a thread that works just like the threads I showed you before, where I can simply add comments directly here. And those comments will be synced back and forth with the Jira issue. Also from the Help Desk bot here, it notifies me any time that an issue is awaiting on my approval. So if I simply click View for this awaiting approval, I'll see all the issues where I'm the approver. And if I click View here, I can actually approve directly in Slack without ever going to, to Jira. So I can see here he currently has an iPhone 9, and I can simply click Approve. I can write a comment if I would like and click Submit. So it's as easy as that to stay on top of all of my service requests directly from Slack. The bot will even notify me when my issues change status or when issues are resolved, as you can see with the simple request that I just submitted, which was just resolved. It even asks me if I'd like to provide feedback, and I can say super fast support. So just like that, that issue is resolved. And I never had to go to JIRA to interact with the ticket at all. Thank you for your time today. I hope you've enjoyed learning some of the great features of Help Desk Plus for Slack. If you have any further questions, simply go to hub.appfire.com and search for Help Desk Plus.